Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the Cornerstone Builder. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's episode, we are going to take a look at how to create section dividers and separators directly within Cornerstone. We're gonna start by using the native section separators and then we're also going to take a look at how to add your own. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now, here we are in the Cornerstone Builder, and the first thing that we're gonna do is create some sections that we can then separate. So we'll go ahead and click Start from Scratch. We have section one here. Let's go ahead and just make this blue. And then we'll uh, let's add a little bit of padding to this just so that it is large enough for us to see for the sake of our example. And I think that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and duplicate section one here. And in section two, we'll go ahead and make this one green. Again, just for the sake of our example. So we have section one, we have a straight line, and then we have section two. Let's go ahead and add one more section right below our green section here. And we'll go ahead and make this a yellow section. And there we have our three colors, three sections, all separated by straight lines. Now, we're gonna click on section two here, and you'll notice anytime you inspect a section, you have access to a top separator and a bottom separator. So the first thing that we can do is we could come into our separators, click top separator, and you'll notice that's applying to the blue section here. We could also enable our bottom separator, and that should apply to the one below, but we may need to change our Z index value. So let's go ahead and give this a Z index value of three. Now we have our top separator going into the blue, but this is all part of our green section here. And we have our bottom separator going into the yellow. So to give this the effect that we want, our top separator, we wanna match our green value here. So we'll come in here and we'll just eye drop that. And there we go. And then we'll do the same thing down here, boom. And there we go. Now we could control the height of this. So let's go up to our first one here and we could give it a height of 150 pixels, which is gonna look super steep. We can then change its point of alignment. So it could just be a slant if I add zero or if I add 100, it's a slant the other way. And then I could come down here and I could do the same. I could say we want this one to be 100 pixels high and uh, we want this one to slant the other direction and there we have it and we could play around with this. So currently we're working with angles, but if we go up to our top one here, we could change this to a curve and we could say we want it to curve out and it's going to become more of a circular shape here where we can then play with the height. So we could say that we want it to be 50 pixels high and it's just a slight curve or 250 pixels high and it's a much more dramatic curve. And so you can see how these basic separators can come in super handy. So you have your angles and you have your curves. But if you want something a little bit more custom than that, let's take a look at how we would implement. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off our section separators here so we still have our three sections. The first thing that we're gonna do is implement a divider that is more of an image. So I had this come up on a project recently where we needed to separate something with a graphic. It was actually a picture of grass. So I have something very similar and we'll go ahead and do this here. Now I want this section down here to be our grass section. So we'll kind of work on color matching that in just a moment. So what we're gonna do is in this first section, we want the grass to bleed up into this section as a separator. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is simply click on our section, come up to the section children here and hold down the command or control key. And I'm going to add a div. Now with this div clicked, I'm gonna come down to our position and I'm gonna set it to absolute. I want it to be absolutely positioned to the bottom. We'll add zero right and zero left so that it takes up the full width and we'll give it a minimum height. Let's just call it uh, 50 pixels, something like that here. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. Now within this div, let's go ahead and enable our advanced controls. And inside of our lower layer, we're going to add a background image. Inside of the background image here, let's go ahead and open this up and we will drag our image into our media library. And here we have our grass. And this is just a PNG. This could be an SVG if you had an SVG file, but I figured for this example, we'll do this with a PNG here. We'll go ahead and click insert. And I think that's looking pretty good. 
we'll come down here and we'd obviously want to color match this to some of our grass there so it looks like the section sort of bleeds in one thing that i want to do though is have this repeat so we're going to have it repeat on the x axis here so we'll go ahead and click x and now we'll give it a size maybe we want the blades of grass to look a lot smaller here so we do something like 200 pixels and that's looking a little too small so let's do 400 pixels and i think that is looking pretty good now the final thing we want to do is make sure that the position that we have set here is set to bottom and that will place it on the bottom there we'll go ahead and save now we may need to play with the height of our div a little bit but let's go ahead and look at this on the front end and there we have it that's looking pretty good now if we don't want this to be in the way or clickable we can simply click on this div and we can click on no pointer events all content and now when i click i am selecting my section so i could add another div here we could add a headline in no problem inside of here we'll enable flexbox so it goes in the center and we'll say welcome to the front lawn all right go ahead and give this slightly larger size come back out to the front end and refresh and things are looking good but let's say that we want to actually use some real svg shape dividers in our design instead well we can do something very similarly so we're going to jump out to something like svgbackgrounds.com where we have a whole library of different SVGs that we can utilize. And the cool thing about this is we can actually get the SVG code. We can simply copy that to our clipboard. So let's go ahead and just pick one of these arbitrarily here. Maybe we like this one here with the intersecting waves. So let's go ahead and select that one. We can see that we have the selection here. We're gonna go ahead and copy that SVG to our clipboard. And now let's jump back into our design. Go ahead and leave our grass on the top section here but let's go down to our yellow section here and we want to have that shape divider up top so we're gonna go ahead and click on section 3 we're gonna click add element and we're gonna add a div and just like we did up top we're going to position this absolute this time though we're gonna say we want the top to be zero right to be position zero bottom to be auto and left to be zero and that's gonna position this up at the top here for us now within this let's go ahead and click advanced scroll down to custom and pop our svg in here and immediately you'll notice things are loading nicely now i want this to look like it's coming off of section two our green section here so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to click on section two and i'm going to grab my color code for that green now i'll jump back into our content here you'll notice that we have a fill control on our svg that fill control is right here, which is currently set to black. So we're just gonna go ahead and delete that there. And then we'll paste in the proper color value. And now you'll notice it looks like this is attached to the section above it. Now within this div, we do need to play with the height a little bit. So let's give it a minimum height of, I don't know, let's say uh, 100 pixels, something like that there. We'll go ahead and save jump out to the front end. Now you'll notice these waves don't appear to be uh, a large enough height. So we wanna play around with the height of our section separator there. Let's go ahead and say that we want this to be 300 pixels. We'll go ahead and save and we'll refresh. And there we have it. So we could come into this section down here, click on this div, go all content. So now we're selecting the section when we click in here. And then maybe we grab something like this div here and we paste that in where we have we'll call this the yellow lawn all right so now we'll go ahead and save come back out here and refresh and there we have section separators up top and section separators down below you've seen how to utilize the default section separators directly within cornerstone or use more advanced images or svgs directly in your designs as always i hope you guys find these videos useful i look forward to seeing how you utilize this in your designs and i will see you guys in the next video happy building